Hello, I'm Daz, and this week's discussion is over how passion and suffering go hand in hand with attachment, causing pain. Passion is defined as strong and barely controllable emotion, or the suffering and death of Jesus. The word itself comes from the Latin root word patior, which means to suffer. Desire is defined as a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen. The etymology of the word is from the Latin word desit de rare to long for wish for demand and expect the original sense perhaps being await what the stars will bring from the phrase de desir de desidere from the stars attachment is defined as an extra part of extension that is or can be attached to something to perform a particular function affection fondness or sympathy for someone or something Etymology of the word is from Anglo-Latin to take or seize, by law, a legal term from Old French attachier, to fasten or arrest. So when we combine the meanings, the etymology, or the origins of these words, we can see from the definitions that these words, that what we want is oftentimes the root of our suffering. Desire creates longing for the lack thereof, and attachment is something that arrests us. When we are passionate, desiring, or attachment to the wrong person or thing, the timing or the timing is wrong, we often hurt because of it. Remember back in December, the last upload I did before I went off for eight weeks, I talked about letting go and the key was to let go of whatever it is you were having faith for and to let God take control of the situation. Sometimes we need to do that to grow and learn. It seems when we detach from our deep-rooted attachment and desire for something or someone it comes along by then it's a nice addition or what we pine for we no longer want because a better opportunity has arisen or everything is 2020 in hindsight it's important to have goals and things we want in life but not to let them cause a lack of emotional self-control when we become desperate and anxious and stressed out it creates a lot of negative thoughts and energy and therefore, we start to doubt and not have that same level of faith. We often hurt. It can cause depression. And I know from personal experience, having dealt with this, like for instance, when I was on the job hunts, I went four to five months without having any solid work. And the more I thought on it, the more I obsessed over it, the more I compared myself to others, even though I was praying and hoping for it. I wasn't having any success finally when I said, you know what, I'm just going to believe that I have a new job or, you know, new projects come along and I have steady income out of nowhere. I get an email to apply for a job and I do the interview and it all falls into place. And God told me to wait till January, but I was trying to push for that new job all the way back in November. The same thing happened with other areas of my life. So I understand that when you really want something, a job, or there's somebody you really desire, or it's not working, and you have to let them go. Not to sound cliche here, but you know, I do believe if you love someone, you let them go. And if it's meant to be, they'll come back to you if not, because God will cut people out of our lives sometimes for the sake of saving us for something better, or he knew that that person was going to hurt us down the line. Even if they hurt us somewhat, it could have been a thousand times worse. So it's so important in that time of waiting that rather than obsessing over what it is you don't have or comparing yourself to others, that you let go of it and really believe in your heart that it's there. So think about what you're passionate about or desiring. Is it beneficial or not? If you let go, what is there really to lose? What is meant to be will be. I hope you found this encouraging and thank you for tuning in. As always, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Take care and God bless.